What's up everyone, I'm Sahil Mithil here at the Now Arena after the Raptors 905 just fell to the Windy City Bulls with 10-year NBA veteran and Raptors 905 guard Jody Meeks. Thanks for sitting down. No problem, good to be here. So you guys had a tough loss tonight. Um, what do you think you or the team as a whole could have done a little bit better to secure the win? Well, it was a few things. Uh, play better defense in the first half. We got off to a pretty good start. Um, second unit came in we didn't really give uh, the same type of effort but we were playing hard but we just uh, didn't knock down a few shots and then in the second half it kind of carried over so uh, look at the film and uh, try to get better and now you've played a few games here in the G League what's your impression of the competition level um, both in your own squad and among the other teams that you've played so far Man, the competition is great it's a lot of young guys um, I'm kind of the elder statesman <laughs> uh, now but uh, it's okay it's it's a good competition um, I'm enjoying it, having a good time, just being out there playing again, like I said. And, uh, you know, the main focus right now is just teaching young guys how to play basketball and trying to uh, get as many wins as possible. And like you mentioned, you're the oldest guy on the team. Uh, <laughs> all, all these other guys are in their 20s. You're 34. Mm -hmm. um, what has been the biggest thing so far that you've been able to teach these young guys um, or that you want to teach them as the season goes on? Well, I've only been here four games. Right. Uh, but. You know, the main thing I want to show them is just stay consistent. Um, it's going to be some good days, going to be some good, bad days. Uh, but stay consistent with your work off the court, uh, lifting weights, ice tubs, um, eating healthy, stuff like that. Um, and then that'll transfer over to uh, the game and uh, get your extra shots up, um, watching film, things like that. So staying consistent in your everyday life um, and being a professional will help you have a long career. And we've talked a little bit about uh, you kind of mentoring these young guys, but going back to your NBA career, coming into the league, um, what is the biggest lesson you've learned from playing in the NBA for 10 years? Like I said, staying consistent was a big thing for me. Um, when I first came in the league, you, you don't really know a lot of stuff because you're coming from college. Uh, so you learn how to eat right, especially as you get older. You might have a few, you know, tweaks, ankle tweaks or back tweaks or whatnot, but um, you learn how to just appreciate every day because uh, nothing is promised in life, but especially in, in professional sports because everyone is so good. Uh, there's a new, you know, 60 players from the draft coming in every day, especially and also guys overseas and free agents. So uh, appreciate every day and uh, stay consistent with your work. Right, and most recently uh, during your NBA career, last time you played in the NBA was with the Raptors, uh, the parent organization of the 905. Uh, you won a championship with them. Uh, talk about winning that championship. How did you feel and just... Uh, what, what was going on when that all happened? It's a dream coming true for me. Um, you know, that was my 10th year. It's my final season on the NBA roster. But, um, man, nobody really expects to do it, but it's always a dream. Uh, standing on that podium after, you know, you know you've know, you won with the championship hats on and uh, getting your ring at the ring ceremony. I was a Bulls fan growing up, so yeah. seeing, you know, Michael Jordan, Scottie Pippen, all those guys do it. Um, so eventually doing it myself was a dream come true. So, um I always wish I could go back in time, but obviously you can't, but it's always, uh, you know, good memories and, and watching old film of that. And thinking back on some of the other moments in your career, uh, what are some of your other uh, favorite NBA memories? Man, I have a lot. Uh, playing with Kobe, Kobe Bryant, you know, RIP to him. Uh, Andre Iguodala was my uh, veteran coming into the league. You know, he taught me a lot of things of, like I said, taking care of your body, um, eating right. Uh, bought me my first tailored suit <laughs> a long time ago. <laughs> Uh, Elton Brand, he's the GM for Philly now. Yeah. Uh, he was one of my best as well. So I've had a pretty good, uh, you know, time of guys that's mentored me through the league. So I always say just pay it forward. You know, the younger generation now, uh, that's what I try to do. And to finish off here, you know, uh, you just mentioned Kobe. Uh, you got to play with him from 2012 to 2014. Mm -hmm. um, do you have a story about him that uh, stands <laughs> out or a moment where uh, you guys were interacting that really stands out to you? Well, he took me under his wing. I was kind of like a little brother to him. So we would go to dinner, you know, sometimes on the road. Um, in practice, it was always battles. Most of the time, he would get the best of me. Um, a specific story, I don't really have one, but it was just, you know, fun being around him on a day-to-day -day basis for three years, um, learning and being a sponge, just, you know, seeing probably the second best shooting guard of all time um, in the flesh every day. Uh, battling him and, and trying to just learn as much as possible. Jody, thank you so much for sitting down and sharing us some stories from the NBA and now your time in the G League and uh, good luck for the rest of the season. Thank you, man. Thanks for thank having you. me. Appreciate it.